Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a full review and on feet over the Air Jordan 1 True Blues, which are inspired by the Air Jordan 3 True Blues, which you guys are going to see in part of the on feet video. Uh, there's no red in the sneaker, which is kind of weird, but we're going to break the entire thing down, compare the two sneakers, and see what these bad boys hit for. So let's get into today's video. What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to yet another banger on the channel. We got something crazy for you guys. I already unboxed these early just to give you guys a little bit of insight before the drop and so for today if you did pull that trigger are you still on the fence i'm gonna throw these bad boys on feet kind of show you guys some of the quality and uh compare these two of the air jordan 3 true blues that we got back in 2014 or 2015 i believe man so subscribe right now to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that we do drop and make sure you guys leave a huge like on today's video you guys already know to go for every single video is 500 likes so please help your boy out and just spam them likes up and spam the comments down below in the comment section so if you guys do not know i just dropped a crazy bomber for my clothing brand shop new wars you guys can see you have the new war chanel patch and on the back man this is what's really catching a lot of people's attention man you got the extraordinary with the crazy smiley face on the back with a couple of significant words that mean a lot to me so if you guys want to go tap into this one right here click the link down below go shop go support the brand and this one right here by far is the best seller on the site so make sure you guys go tap in while supplies last man all right so here we have them the air jordan one true blues first things first i wanted to point out that it came with extra white laces you guys can see me personally i love rocking white laces in my air jordan ones but they came with the true blue laces equipped in these true blue ones already so if you want to switch them out you can me personally i'm rocking out with the white laces a little bit more for this uh true blue air jordan one you did get a different box you know usually we get that black with the red nike up top but this one right here you got that true blue all the way around with your white nike branded all around the entire box man and the official size tag reads ezra on retro high og true blue white cement and gray and of course i got these in the size nine I always go true to size in the edge of the ones that's just my personal opinion and that's what i've been doing for for the past 10 years copping sneakers man so i'm just gonna show you guys one shoe because both of the sneakers are the same it's nothing different on the insoles outsoles or anything like that only thing different between the shoes is this one has white laces the other one does have the blue laces that came equipped in them but checking these bad boys out like i said in the unboxing the leather is not that great and i just wanted to point that out because the air jordan 3 true blues also has some terrible quality i remember people complaining about that sneaker back in the day i don't know why they keep doing this with the true blue and then on the back of the sneaker that is not leather it's like a new buck or like some type of weird material on the back it's not like your traditional leather like you get on the toe box of these true blue air jordan ones and then just like your air jordan one lost and found chicago's kind of get this little pop out wings logo on the side right here you know what i'm saying make it a little bit different because usually we get that wings logo like branded into the sneaker if that makes sense so checking out both of the sneakers you have your nike air on the tongue and then check out the bottom you have your all gray air jordan one uh track pad traditional og look with the bottom right here as you guys can see even with the nike swoosh it kind of has that same flat leather as the toe box and the side panels of the shoe so nothing spectacular there no tumbleness of the leather just your regular nike swoosh don't look forward to having like some crazy crazy quality because I'm pretty sure that all the pairs came like this. But I do know in the past, Jordan never kept it consistent. One shoe might have some crazy tumble leather, then the other shoe might have some super flat leather on them, guys. I don't know what be going on, but that definitely happens, and this happened to me in the past as well. So here you have them, the Air Jordan 3 True Blues. These bad boys right here is probably my first pair of Air Jordan 3s I ever caught in the collection back in that 2014, 2015 time range. I remember like it was yesterday because I was looking at the shoe when I I bought it and i seen the retail tag i think this was like the first one and i paid 220 for a uh, air jordan i'm like yo why are these worth 220 dollars the leather quality actually is trash like the creasing on these guys is really really bad i'm gonna show you guys in b-roll because the light is kind of bright but i'm pretty sure the same thing is going to happen with these air jordan one true blues so i guess comparing these two shoes you can see that the leather quality is consistent they're both pretty bad and i gotta take my half the jordan brand because they actually did match the true blue on the air jordan 3 with the ones in 2023 but the only thing that's quite puzzling is that they threw the red hits on the true blue threes 
and you literally have no red on the air Jordan one true blues anywhere not on the insole not on the bottom now on the lacing system like you got on air Jordan threes they just left the red out completely i would definitely love for jordan brand to retro these things again and give us a little bit better quality some similar to the katrina some similar to the fire reds that would definitely be dope so i need another pair because these, these bad boys right here are definitely beat man so let me know down below in the comment section if you were lucky enough to snag a pair just pass on them uh was this one of them shoes you didn't need but you might still impulse buy them i'm always in that category where i'm like damn do i need them and sometimes or most of the times i don't need the shoe but i still pull the trigger impulse buys are the worst so let me know how you feeling about the air jordan one true blues that I released today 180 dollars they're still sitting on the nike sneakers app they're sitting pretty much on every single site so might be one of the ones that you catch up in a Nike outlet that you might get hit on from like a hundred to hundred and twenty dollar price range when they do hit the Nike outlets. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe right now to the channel, hit the notification bell. Please give a huge like on today's video. The goal for every video is 500 likes, and make sure you go tap into the clothing brand Shop New War. I'm gonna link it down below, and of course, I'm gonna keep supporting it. That's my brand. We going crazy, and I appreciate everybody that's supporting your boy right now. All my social media links will be in the description box. Like I said. Again, Again, thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into the rest of this on feet of the Air Jordan 1 True Blues. Peace.